The word of the Lord that came to Hosea son of Beeri during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and of Jeroboam son of Jehosh, king of Israel. When the Lord first spoke to Hosea, he said this to him, Go and marry a woman of promiscuity, and have children of promiscuity. For the land is committing blatant acts of promiscuity by abandoning the Lord. So he went and married Gomer daughter of Deblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to him, Name him Jezreel, for in a little while I will bring the bloodshed of Jezreel on the house of Jehu, and put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. On that day I will break the bow of Israel in Jezreel Valley. She conceived again and gave birth to a daughter, and the Lord said to him, Name her Loruhama. For I will no longer have compassion. On the house of Israel, I will certainly take them away. But I will have compassion on the house of Judah. And I will deliver them by the Lord their God. I will not deliver them by bow, sword, or war. Or by horses and cavalry. After Gomer had weaned Loruhama, she conceived and gave birth to a son. Then the Lord said, Name him Loami. For you are not my people. And I will not be your God. Yet the number of the Israelites will be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or counted. And in the place where they were told, You are not my people. They will be called, Sons of the Living God. And the Judeans and the Israelites will be gathered together. They will appoint for themselves a single ruler and go up from the land. For the day of Jezreel will be great. Call your brothers, my people, and your sisters, compassion. Rebuke your mother, rebuke her. For she is not my wife and I am not her husband. Let her remove the promiscuous look from her face and her adultery from between her breasts. Otherwise, I will strip her naked, and expose her as she was on the day of her birth. I will make her like a desert, and like a parched land, and I will let her die of thirst. I will have no compassion on her children, because they are the children of promiscuity. Yes, their mother is promiscuous. She conceived them and acted shamefully, for she thought, I will follow my lovers, the men who give me my food and water, my wool and flax, my oil and drink. Therefore, this is what I will do. I will block her way with thorns. I will enclose her with a wall, so that she cannot find her paths. She will pursue her lovers but not catch them. She will look for them but not find them. Then she will think, I will go back to my former husband, for then it was better for me than now. She does not recognize, that it is I who gave her the grain, the new wine, and the fresh oil. I lavished silver and gold on her, which they used for ball. Therefore, I will take back my grain in its time, and my new wine in its season. I will take away my wool and linen, which were to cover her nakedness. Now I will expose her shame, in the sight of her lovers, and no one will rescue her from my power. I will put an end to all her celebrations, her feasts, new moons, and sabbaths, all her festivals. I will devastate her vines and fig trees. She thinks that these are her wages that her lovers have given her. I will turn them into a thicket, and the wild animals will eat them. And I will punish her for the days of the Baals, to which she burned incense. She put on her rings and her jewelry, and followed her lovers. But she forgot me, this is the Lord's declaration. Therefore, I am going to persuade her. Lead her to the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. There I will give her vineyards back to her, and make the valley of Acre, 
into a gateway of hope. There she will respond as she did. In the days of her youth. As in the day she came out of the land of Egypt. In that day. This is the Lord's declaration. You will call me, my husband. And no longer call me, my Baal. For I will remove the names of the Baals. From her mouth. They will no longer be remembered by their names. On that day I will make a covenant for them. With the wild animals, the birds of the sky. And the creatures that crawl on the ground. I will shatter bow, sword. And weapons of war in the land. And will enable the people to rest securely. I will take you to be my wife forever. I will take you to be my wife in righteousness, justice, love, and compassion. I will take you to be my wife in faithfulness, and you will know the Lord. On that day I will respond. This is the Lord's declaration. I will respond to the sky, and it will respond to the earth. The earth will respond to the grain, the new wine, and the fresh oil and they will respond to Jezreel. I will sow her in the land for myself, and I will have compassion. On Loruhama, I will say to Loami, You are my people. And he will say, You are my God. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, show love to a woman who is loved by another man and is an adulteress, just as the Lord loves the Israelites though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for fifteen shekels of silver and nine bushels of barley. I said to her, You are to live with me many days. You must not be promiscuous or belong to any man, and I will act the same way toward you. For the Israelites must live many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, and without ephod or household idols. Afterward, the people of Israel will return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They will come with awe to the Lord and to his goodness in the last days. Hear the word of the Lord, people of Israel. For the Lord has a case. Against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth, no faithful love. And no knowledge of God in the land. Cursing, lying, murder, stealing and adultery are rampant. One act of bloodshed follows another. For this reason the land mourns, and everyone who lives in it languishes, along with the wild animals and the birds of the sky. Even the fish of the sea disappear. But let no one dispute, let no one argue. For my case is against you priests. You will stumble by day. The prophet will also stumble with you by night. And I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge. I will reject you from serving as my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your sons. The more they multiplied. The more they sinned against me. I will change their honor into disgrace. They feed on the sin of my people. They have an appetite for their iniquity. The same judgment will happen. To both people and priests. I will punish them for their ways. And repay them for their deeds. They will eat but not be satisfied. They will be promiscuous but not multiply. For they have abandoned their devotion to the Lord. Promiscuity, wine, and new wine. Take away one's understanding. My people consult their wooden idols. And their divining rods inform them. For a spirit of promiscuity leads them astray. They act promiscuously. In disobedience to their God. They sacrifice on the mountaintops. And they burn offerings on the hills. And under oaks, poplars, and terebinths. Because their shade is pleasant. And so your daughters act promiscuously. And your daughters-in-law commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters. When they act promiscuously. Or your daughters-in-law. 
when they commit adultery. For the men themselves go off with prostitutes and make sacrifices with cult prostitutes. People without discernment are doomed. Israel, if you act promiscuously, don't let Judah become guilty. Do not go to Gilgal or make a pilgrimage to beth -Avon. And do not swear an oath, as the Lord lives. For Israel is as obstinate as a stubborn cow. Can the Lord now shepherd them? Like a lamb in an open meadow. Ephraim is attached to idols. Leave him alone. When their drinking is over, they turn to promiscuity. Israel's leaders fervently love disgrace. A wind with its wings will carry them off. And they will be ashamed of their sacrifices. Hear this, priests, pay attention, house of Israel. Listen, royal house. For the judgment applies to you. Because you have been a snare at Mizpah. And a net spread out on Tabor. Rebels are deeply involved in slaughter. I will be a punishment for all of them. I know Ephraim. And Israel is not hidden from me. For now, Ephraim. You have acted promiscuously. Israel is defiled. Their actions do not allow them. To return to their God. For a spirit of promiscuity is among them. And they do not know the Lord. Israel's arrogance testifies against them. Both Israel and Ephraim stumble. Because of their iniquity. Even Judah will stumble with them. They go with their flocks and herds. To seek the Lord. But do not find him. He has withdrawn from them. They betrayed the Lord. Indeed, they gave birth to illegitimate children. Now the new moon will devour them. Along with their fields. Blow the ram's horn in Gibeah. The trumpet in Ramah. Raise the war cry in beth -Avon. Look behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim will become a desolation. On the day of punishment. I announce what is certain. Among the tribes of Israel. The princes of Judah are like those. Who move boundary markers. I will pour out my fury on them like water. Ephraim is oppressed, crushed in judgment. For he is determined to follow what is worthless. So I am like rot to Ephraim. And like decay to the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness. And Judah his wound. Ephraim went to Assyria. And sent a delegation to the great king. But he cannot cure you or heal your wound. For I am like a lion to Ephraim. And like a young lion to the house of Judah. Yes, I will tear them to pieces and depart. I will carry them off. And no one can rescue them. I will depart and return to my place. Until they recognize their guilt and seek my face. They will search for me in their distress. Come, let's return to the Lord. For he has torn us. And he will heal us. He has wounded us. And he will bind up our wounds. He will revive us after two days. And on the third day he will raise us up. So we can live in his presence. Let's strive to know the Lord. His appearance is as sure as the dawn. He will come to us like the rain. Like the spring showers that water the land. What am I going to do with you, Ephraim? What am I going to do with you, Judah? Your love is like the morning mist. And like the early dew that vanishes. This is why I have used the prophets. To cut them down. I have killed them with the words from my mouth. My judgment strikes like lightning. For I desire faithful love and not sacrifice. The knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. But they, like Adam, have violated the covenant. There they have betrayed me. Gilead is a city of evildoers. Tracked with bloody footprints. Like raiders who wait in ambush for someone. 
a band of priests murders on the road to Shechem. They commit atrocities. I have seen something horrible in the house of Israel. Ephraim's promiscuity is there, Israel is defiled. A harvest is also appointed for you, Judah. When I restore the fortunes of my people. When I heal Israel. The iniquity of Ephraim and the crimes of Samaria. Will be exposed. For they practice fraud. A thief breaks in. A raiding party pillages outside. But they never consider that I remember all their evil. Now their actions are all around them. They are right in front of my face. They please the king with their evil. The princes with their lies. All of them commit adultery. They are like an oven heated by a baker. Who stops stirring the fire. From the kneading of the dough until it is leavened. On the day of our king. The princes are sick with the heat of wine. There is a conspiracy with traitors. For they, their hearts like an oven. Draw him into their oven. Their anger smolders all night. In the morning it blazes like a flaming fire. All of them are as hot as an oven. And they consume their rulers. All their kings fall. Not one of them calls on me. Ephraim has allowed himself to get mixed up with the nations. Ephraim is unturned bread baked on a griddle. Foreigners consume his strength. But he does not notice. Even his hair is streaked with gray. But he does not notice. Israel's arrogance testifies against them. Yet they do not return to the Lord their God. And for all this, they do not seek him. So Ephraim has become like a silly, senseless dove. They call to Egypt, and they go to Assyria. As they are going, I will spread my net over them. I will bring them down like birds of the sky. I will discipline them in accordance. With the news that reaches their assembly. Woe to them, for they fled from me. Destruction to them, for they rebelled against me. Though I want to redeem them. They speak lies against me. They do not cry to me from their hearts. Rather, they wail on their beds. They slash themselves for grain and new wine. They turn away from me. I trained and strengthened their arms. But they plot evil against me. They turn, but not to what is above. They are like a faulty bow. Their leaders will fall by the sword. Because of their insolent tongue. They will be ridiculed for this in the land of Egypt. Put the ram's horn to your mouth. One like an eagle comes. Against the house of the Lord. Because they transgress my covenant. And rebel against my law. Israel cries out to me. My God, we know you. Israel has rejected what is good. An enemy will pursue him. They have installed kings. But not through me. They have appointed leaders. But without my approval. They make their silver and gold. Into idols for themselves. For their own destruction. Your calf idol is rejected, Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of innocence? For this thing is from Israel. A craftsman made it, and it is not God. The calf of Samaria will be smashed to bits. Indeed, they sow the wind. And reap the whirlwind. There is no standing grain. What sprouts fails to yield flour. Even if they did. Foreigners would swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now they are among the nations. Like discarded pottery. For they have gone up to Assyria. Like a wild donkey going off on its own. Ephraim has paid for love. Even though they hire lovers among the nations. I will now round them up. And they will begin to decrease in number. Under the burden of the king and leaders. When Ephraim multiplied his altars for sin. They became his altars for sinning. 
though I were to write out for him. 10,000 points of my instruction. They would be regarded as something strange. Though they offer sacrificial gifts. And eat the flesh. The Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their guilt. And punish their sins. They will return to Egypt. Israel has forgotten his maker and built palaces. Judah has also multiplied fortified cities. I will send fire on their cities. And it will consume their citadels. Israel, do not rejoice jubilantly as the nations do. For you have acted promiscuously, leaving your God. You love the wages of a prostitute. On every grain threshing floor. Threshing floor and wine vat will not sustain them. And the new wine will fail them. They will not stay in the land of the Lord. Instead, Ephraim will return to Egypt. And they will eat unclean food in Assyria. They will not pour out. Their wine offerings to the Lord. And their sacrifices will not please Him. Their food will be like the bread of mourners. All who eat it become defiled. For their bread will be for their appetites alone. It will not enter the house of the Lord. What will you do on a festival day? On the day of the Lord's feast? For even if they flee from devastation, Egypt will gather them, and Memphis will bury them. Thistles will take possession of their precious silver. Thorns will invade their tents. The days of punishment have come. The days of retribution have come. Let Israel recognize it. The prophet is a fool. And the inspired man is insane. Because of the magnitude. Of your iniquity and hostility. Ephraim's watchman is with my God. Yet the prophet encounters a bird trap. On all his pathways. Hostility is in the house of his God. They have deeply corrupted themselves. As in the days of Gibeah. He will remember their iniquity. He will punish their sins. I discovered Israel. Like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your ancestors. Like the first fruit of the fig tree in its first season. But they went to Balpeor. Consecrated themselves to shame and became abhorrent, like the thing they loved. Ephraim's glory will fly away like a bird. No birth, no pregnancy, no conception. Even if they raise children, I will bereave them of each one. Yes, woe to them when I depart from them. I have seen Ephraim like Tyre, planted in a meadow. So Ephraim will bring out his children, to the executioner. Give them, Lord. What should you give? Give them a womb that miscarries. And breasts that are dry. All their evil appears at Gilgal. For there I began to hate them. I will drive them from my house. Because of their evil, wicked actions. I will no longer love them. All their leaders are rebellious. Ephraim is struck down. Their roots are withered. They cannot bear fruit. Even if they bear children. I will kill the precious offspring of their wombs. My God will reject them. Because they have not listened to him. They will become wanderers among the nations. Israel is a lush vine. It yields fruit for itself. The more his fruit increased. The more he increased the altars, the better his land produced, the better they made the sacred pillars. Their hearts are devious. Now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and demolish their sacred pillars. In fact, they are now saying, We have no king, for we do not fear the Lord. What can a king do for us? They speak mere words, taking false oaths while making covenants. So lawsuits break out, like poisonous weeds in the furrows of a field. The residents of Samaria will have anxiety. 
over the calf of beth Aven. Indeed, its idolatrous priests rejoiced over it. The people will mourn over it. Over its glory. It will certainly go into exile. The calf itself will be taken to Assyria. As an offering to the great king. Ephraim will experience shame. Israel will be ashamed of its counsel. Samaria's king will disappear. Like foam on the surface of the water. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, will be destroyed. Thorns and thistles will grow over their altars. They will say to the mountains, Cover us. And to the hills, Fall on us. Israel, you have sinned. Since the days of Gibeah. They have taken their stand there. Will not war against the unjust. Overtake them in Gibeah. I will discipline them at my discretion. Nations will be gathered against them. To put them in bondage. For their double iniquity. Ephraim is a well-trained calf. That loves to thresh. But I will place a yoke on her fine neck. I will harness Ephraim. Judah will plow. Jacob will do the final plowing. Sow righteousness for yourselves and reap faithful love. Break up your unplowed ground. It is time to seek the Lord, until He comes and sends righteousness, on you like the rain. You have plowed wickedness and reaped injustice. You have eaten the fruit of lies, because you have trusted in your own way, and in your large number of soldiers. The roar of battle will rise against your people, and all your fortifications will be demolished. In a day of war. Like Shalman's destruction of Beth Arbel. Mothers will be dashed to pieces. Along with their children. So it will be done to you, Bethel. Because of your extreme evil. At dawn the king of Israel will be totally destroyed. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt I called my son. Israel called to the Egyptians. Even as Israel was leaving them, they kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning offerings to idols. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the hand. But they never knew that I healed them. I led them with human cords, with ropes of love. To them I was like one who eases the yoke from their jaws. I bent down to give them food. Israel will not return to the land of Egypt. And Assyria will be his king. Because they refuse to repent. A sword will whirl through his cities. It will destroy and devour the bars of his gates. Because of their schemes. My people are bent on turning from me. Though they call to him on high. He will not exalt them at all. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I surrender you, Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I treat you like Zeboim? I have had a change of heart. My compassion is stirred. I will not vent the full fury of my anger. I will not turn back to destroy Ephraim. For I am God and not man. The Holy One among you. I will not come in rage. They will follow the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, his children will come trembling from the west. They will be roused like birds from Egypt, and like doves from the land of Assyria. Then I will settle them in their homes, this is the Lord's declaration. Ephraim surrounds me with lies. The house of Israel with deceit. Judah still wanders with God and is faithful to the holy ones. Ephraim chases the wind, and pursues the east wind. He continually multiplies lies and violence. He makes a covenant with Assyria, and olive oil is carried to Egypt. The Lord also has a dispute with Judah. He is about to punish Jacob according to his conduct. He will repay him based on his actions. 
In the womb he grasped his brother's heel. And as an adult he wrestled with God. Jacob struggled with the angel and prevailed. He wept and sought his favor. He found him at Bethel. And there he spoke with him. The Lord is the God of armies. The Lord is his name. But you must return to your God. Maintain love and justice. And always put your hope in God. A merchant loves to extort. With dishonest scales in his hands. But Ephraim thinks. How rich I have become. I made it all myself. In all my earnings. No one can find any iniquity in me. That I can be punished for. I have been the Lord your God. Ever since the land of Egypt. I will make you live in tents again. As in the festival days. I will speak through the prophets. And grant many visions. I will give parables through the prophets. Since Gilead is full of evil. They will certainly come to nothing. They sacrifice bulls in Gilgal. Even their altars will be like piles of rocks. On the furrows of a field. Jacob fled to the territory of Aram. Israel worked to earn a wife. He tended flocks for a wife. The Lord brought Israel from Egypt by a prophet. And Israel was tended by a prophet. Ephraim has provoked bitter anger. So his Lord will leave his blood guilt on him. And repay him for his contempt. When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel. But he incurred guilt through Baal and died. Now they continue to sin. And make themselves a cast image. Idols skillfully made from their silver. All of them the work of craftsmen. People say about them. Let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore, they will be like the morning mist. Like the early dew that vanishes. Like chaff blown from a threshing floor. Or like smoke from a window. I have been the Lord your God. Ever since the land of Egypt. You know no God but me. And no Savior exists besides me. I knew you in the wilderness. In the land of drought. When they had pasture. They became satisfied. They were satisfied. And their hearts became proud. Therefore they forgot me. So I will be like a lion to them. I will lurk like a leopard on the path. I will attack them. Like a bear robbed of her cubs. And tear open the rib cage over their hearts. I will devour them there like a lioness. Like a wild beast that would rip them open. I will destroy you, Israel. You have no help but me. Where now is your king? That he may save you in all your cities. And the rulers you demanded, saying. Give me a king and leaders. I give you a king in my anger and take away a king in my wrath. Ephraim's guilt is preserved. His sin is stored up. Labor pains come on him. He is not a wise son. When the time comes, he will not be born. I will ransom them from the power of Sheol. I will redeem them from death. Death, where are your barbs? Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. Although he flourishes among his brothers. An east wind will come. A wind from the Lord rising up from the desert. His water source will fail. And his spring will run dry. The wind will plunder the treasury. Of every precious item. Samaria will bear her guilt. Because she has rebelled against her God. They will fall by the sword. Their children will be dashed to pieces. And their pregnant women ripped open. Israel, return to the Lord your God. For you have stumbled in your iniquity. Take words of repentance with you. And return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our iniquity. And accept what is good. 
so that we may repay you. With praise from our lips. Assyria will not save us. We will not ride on horses. And we will no longer proclaim, our gods. To the work of our hands. For the fatherless receives compassion in you. I will heal their apostasy. I will freely love them. For my anger will have turned from him. I will be like the dew to Israel. He will blossom like the lily. And take root like the cedars of Lebanon. His new branches will spread. And his splendor will be like the olive tree. His fragrance, like the forest of Lebanon. The people will return and live beneath his shade. They will grow grain. And blossom like the vine. His renown will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, why should I have anything more? To do with idols. It is I who answer and watch over him. I am like a flourishing pine tree. Your fruit comes from me. Let whoever is wise understand these things. And whoever is insightful recognize them. For the ways of the Lord are right. And the righteous walk in them. But the rebellious stumble in them.